Hey guys, it's me, Mario. And today we're going to finish Sting, the Scorpion Man. For one more chapter to go. Chapter 10, The Purple Mist. <coughs> How you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well. <coughs> Chapter 10 Purple Mist. Overhead, Tom could hear Sting ordering guards to hammer Marvel's enchanted bolts into the trap door. The sound of banging started up immediately. I'm going to try to push the door open, Tom said, feeling his way up the stairs. Good luck, Helena replied anxiously. Tom tried with all his might to heave open the trap door. But even with the power of the golden breastplate, it would not budge. Then Arcta gave a roar and um, a roar and lumbered up the stairs to help. Together, Tom and the mountain giant pushed at the trap door with all their strength. Be quick, Tom, Elena said. This chamber sound sounds as if it's going to collapse at any moment. It's no good, Tom panted, disappointed. Disappointment flooding through him. Whatever enchantment Melville has put on the bolts, it is too strong for Arcta and me. Tom felt the giant's frustration rush over him like a wave. What are we going to do? Eleanor's voice trembled in the darkness. There must be another way out. The ground shook beneath their feet. The shuddering tunnel walls threatened to cave in at any moment. In that instance, Tom wished more than anything that he could be home in Aventia. Curl Curlo's words suddenly echoed in his mind. Home is like a jewel, the gatekeeper had said, and it is only... Once it has gone, that you realize how precious it is. Had the gatekeeper been trying to give him some kind of clue? Do you still have Sting's jewel, Elena? Tom asked. Leaving the stairs and feeling his way along the tunnel towards his friend. There was a glow of purple light as Elena drew the gem from her pocket. Tom took it carefully and held it up in front of him. The light began to pulse. Then Tom felt his hand begin to move through the, the air, through the air, drawing a doorway in the stone wall with the edge of the jewel. With a rush of delight, Tom realized that the jewel was cutting a magical gateway that would get them out of the catacombs. Far above them, Tom could hear Marvel's castle groaning and crumbling. The collapsing catacombs must have damaged the very foundation of the castle. Stand close to me, Tom commanded, as more rocks fell around them. His hand was still moving, the jewel drawing the last part of the new gateway. The darkness peeled away in a sharp, clear line. Beyond the, the freshly cut door, a purple mist swirled and beckoned. Tom, Helena gasped, her eyes shining as she clasps, clasped Tom's hand. Do you think this will take us back to Aventia? I hope so. Tom hardly dare to believe that they were just a step away from their beloved homeland. 
In his mind, he called to Arcta, telling the good beast to follow them through the gateway. Then he seized Storm's bridle. While Elna grasped Silver's scruff, and together they dived into the cool purple mist. The air stretched, the air stretched. Tom felt himself spinning. Bright lights glowed all around him. Goodbye, Tom and Elena. Goodbye. Kulu's voice echoed about them. Tom started to say thank you to the gatekeeper, but an awful scream full, full of fury interrupted him. It was Malvel. You have not seen the last of me, Tom. You have not seen the last of me, Tom. Malvel screeched. I will be victorious. But just as the words left Malvel's mouth, the wizard suddenly gave a shriek of fear. Tom could hear the sound of tr crum tumbling, cr crushing, crashing rocks, and then nothing more. Tom sensed the massive bulk of Arcta spinning beside him. Then the giant seemed to disappear, and Elena, Storm, and Tom, Elena, Storm, and Silver landed on the on the familiar floor of King Hugo's castle. <clears throat> King Hugo's throne room. Where the king and wizard Elderu were waiting expectantly for them. Welcome home, Elderu smiled, holding out his hands in greeting. I knew you would uh, prevail, Tom. Congratulations, you have defeated Melville once again, and although I could not see as clearly as I would have liked, I believe that the Dark Wizard was crushed beneath the crum crumble of his own castle. Tom felt a wave of relief surge through him as he embraced Elderu. But this was quickly replaced with panic. Where was Arcta? He had the giant somehow been pulled back into Gorgonia? Arcta has been returned to his rightful place in the mountains, said King Hugo. Sensing his worry, the he rose from his throne. <clears throat> said King Hugo, sensing his worry. He rose from his throne. Well done, Tom. You are truly Aventia's greatest champion. Tom bowed his head, while the king thanked Elena for all her help. Tom looked out of <clears throat> Tom looked out of one of the throne room's windows. The sky was sapphire blue, and the sun shone gently down on the green land that surrounded the castle. Bringing colors, colored flags and banisters fluttered. <clears throat> brightly colored flags and banisters fluttered on the houses in the distance. They had escaped the swirling red fog of evil, of evil Gorgonia forever. We are holding a feast on your honor in the great hall today. King Hugo announced as he strode, stroked Storm and Silver in turn. Eventia is impatient to welcome home their heroes. A liveried... A servant walked in the... the walked in drape... walked in and draped a soft woolen blanket over Storm back, Storm's back, before leading the stallion away for food and a warm stable full of fresh bedding. Tom looked down at the purple jewel that still lie in his hand. He stripped it into his belt. The row of six jewels glowed fiercely, filling the throne room with 
a rainbow of light and power. The others looked on in wonder. Then K King Hugo clapped an arm around Tamsa's shoulder, and Elderu walked between Elena and Silver together. They all moved towards the palace stairway and down to the bustle of the great hall below, where a where the feast was being laid out. Bright, brightly suited servants carried groaning trays of food, and musicians tuned their instruments in the miss, minstrel's gallery. The citizens of Aventia were already streaming excitedly through the palace doors in their finest clothes, and the air was bus, buzzing with chatter and laughter. As Tom took his place at the top table between King Hugo and Elena, his thoughts strayed to Melville and Seth, the boy who had turned into a beast. What had become of them? Had they really perished in the ruins of the castle? Then he thought of Odora and the Gorgonian rebels he had helped to escape into Aventia. Where were they now? Shaking the thoughts from his head, he turned to Elena and raised his glass. Here's to the completion of another beast quest, said Tom. I couldn't have done it without you, Elena. Elena ching chinked her glass against Tom's and with her other hand fed some chicken to Silver, who sat at her feet. You're welcome, Tom, she said cheerfully. Then she noticed her friend's serious expression. But why don't but why don't you smile? Melville has gone at last and it's all down and it's all down to us. Tom drank deeply from his goblet, then grinned at his friend. He would allow himself to smile today, but only time would tell whether they had been <clears throat> they had seen the last of Marvel. And that was the end of Sting, the Scorpion Man. Here is Tom drawing the gateway to Aventia. That's the only picture in this chapter. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed me reading Sting, the Scorpion Man. See you guys. And I hope you guys are excited for series four as I am. <laughs> I have like series four and five ready to go, so. I have those. Maybe I should get the first book of series four. Hold on real quick. This may take a couple of seconds. Or a minute. I'm just gonna take the whole series. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the whole series with me right now. Here it is. Six books. Series four. The Ghost Beasts. This series was so good. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope you guys are joining me next time. Well, I will read the prologue of Nixa, the Deathbringer.
And I hope you guys like, subscribe, and hit the bell. If you guys are interested in that. <sighs> Woo! Series 3 finished! Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> now on to Series 4. After like... A week of break. <laughs> <laughs> I need to draw more. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this series five series three. I almost said series five. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the series three. Ugh. Sweaty. I hope you join me next time. <clears throat> Alright. See ya.